Starting an internship in big tech can be scary and definitely not always easy to navigate. I've had two successful internships and I learned a ton of strategies to maximize your impact, avoid making common mistakes, and guarantee that return offer. I'll even throw in at the end one less talked about tip that helped me a lot getting extra credit. My internships followed a very interesting trajectory. The first one exposed me to what not to do and how to course correct if you're not on the right path to a return offer. The second one allowed me to build on top of that and really learn what it takes to exceed expectations and maximize your impact as an intern in order to have your team not only be okay handing you a return offer, but actively trying to get you to join them. Without further ado, here are my learnings. Break the anxiety feedback loop. I don't know where you're gonna be interning, but I can assure you one thing. Your first couple of weeks are going to be confusing and overwhelming, and you're likely gonna feel like you weren't cut out for it, especially if it's your first internship. The problem with feeling like this is that it can very easily turn into a negative feedback loop, where your feelings of being overwhelmed by the complexities of the job are constantly increased by the anxiety it brings to be feeling that way. In other words, fearing the consequences of your initial anxiety just makes you even more anxious. And you can hopefully see how that feeds into itself. Stopping this loop early is going to allow you to break down the complexities you're facing a bit better and give you a cool mind to try and tackle the little pieces one by one, which is much less daunting than trying to ramp up on everything at once. To break the loop, I found it useful to expect the uncertainty and the complexities. Make peace with the idea that it'll take you a moment to figure out how things work and your role in them. And also to internalize that your team is already aware that these things take time and they know you'll have a lot of questions. So the advice I'd give my past self would be to not fight the uncertainty too much. Just work on identifying the single next question to answer. Take an active role in your project. The biggest mistake I made during my first internship was not to take the driver's seat sooner. Reasons may vary for you, but for me, it was this awe of the institution syndrome that I talked about in my video about curiosity, which you can also watch here where I expected Microsoft being such a giant company to have everything structured and figured out. And if things were not moving, there was probably a good reason behind it and more important work being done instead. So that resulted in me oftentimes not pushing to get help and just reporting being blocked. It was harsh to hear at the time, but to this day, I'm thankful for my manager that internship, where he pointed out towards the middle of it that I wasn't really looking like I'd be getting a return offer at that rate. His advice was to be more aggressive with my approach. And it makes sense over the years, I've learned that a pretty good way to summarize making impact at work is having the skill to make things happen. Ask for feedback and act on it. After I had that tough conversation with my manager, I knew that I needed to come up with a plan. And that plan was to ask for feedback every week from my manager and mentor up until the moment my internship ended, as I strive to get better at making things happen. I would then take that feedback and act on it during the following week as best I could. The result was better than I could have hoped. And in the end, the project came to life and I did get my return offer for an internship next summer. After undergoing that, I now really value feedback and I try to get it as often as possible and try to be very intentional about acting on it. Display willingness to explore new terrain. During your internship, your team likely won't be holding you to the same standards that they hold full-time employees just because they have a much shorter period of time to work with. This doesn't necessarily mean that they'll go easy on you, it just means that they'll be evaluating you differently. And one of the areas that they can explore is your openness to take on different kinds of work. This is a trait that good performing engineers display and it's reasonable to expect it in people early in their careers too. So it makes sense for teams and managers to look at this. The thing I find so great about this is that it's very easy to exploit because you have the intern card. This is the perfect opportunity to say yes to a lot of things and explore different areas. People are already expecting you to ask questions, so these are some easy points for grabs in terms of getting that return offer. On top of that, you'll be learning a lot more if you're exposed to more than a single work stream. Just be mindful about the amount of work you take on and constantly keep your team posted about your priorities to make sure that you're making progress towards the goals your team set for you. Connect with people. It's very likely that managers will often ask others for feedback about your performance. They have to because they have a very limited time to actually get to know how you work and to determine whether or not you should be getting a return offer. If networking for the sake of your own professional growth isn't enough for you, thinking about it in terms of getting people to vouch for you as your manager evaluates your performance should hopefully be a powerful motivator. 
Companies often host events where you can introduce yourself to people, but even if yours doesn't, just think about what we just covered. Taking on a wide array of work increases your chances of having to reach out to other people in the team or company and establish connections that way. Learn how to present your work. A lot of tech companies have final presentation sessions where interns get to showcase their work and teams present their internship projects to the larger organization. This was not often talked about when I interned, but one of the best investments I made in both my internships was making sure that my final presentations were delivered in the best way possible. This forced me to consider things like storytelling, public speaking, and designing engaging presentations. While coding is important and the technical details about your project are definitely relevant, you can't neglect the importance of the human connection that happens when you deliver a presentation. And making a good and memorable impression in people's mind will facilitate at least two things. Your manager will have a much easier time justifying to the company his or her decision to extend a return offer to you. And if you've made an impression on them, people are far more likely to reach out and congratulate you for your project or have questions, comments, or follow-ups, which also opens up good opportunities to make new connections. And it just allows you to wrap up your internship in such a positive note. I hope these are useful in your upcoming internship, and I'm also happy to help with any specifics if you have questions or could benefit from the opinion of someone who's been there before. So feel free to comment down below or reach out on any of my social networks. And if you want to start building some impactful soft skills, be sure to also check out this video here. And that's it for today, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.